is the $20,000 pyramid. Today's special guests are Barbara Feldon and Snoopy Sales. And now, here is your host, Dick Clark. What a day it'll be. Welcome to the $20,000 pyramid. You two look like you could be a singing act. You're all color coordinated in your browns. Oh, yes. All colors. Symphony and browns. That's very nice. Well, should we do that instead of playing the game? Oh, you want to do a little singing? We'll do a little singing. No, oh, no. I just, somehow or other, there's a fellow here. He's a big guy. I don't think he'd like that. Oh, this is right. uh, your partner. Okay. I'll do anything you tell me to do. Oh, I'll do oh, anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's oh, the yes. spirit, oh, really? Tony. Okay. Oh, just Tony leave us Nucci, alone. Tony who's a teacher. Yeah. Where do you, where do you teach and what do you teach? I teach um, high school French and English at Attica Central School, and I was told that I cannot go back unless I say hello to my English kids and bonjour to my French kids. So there you are, kids. There you are. You know, you, you were also a native of that area, aren't you? Right. Because you said, I'm going to go back. And uh, I, have, I have the bladdest Rochester A yeah, in that, the whole world. That's it. Yeah, 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 that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. You know, where are you from, Susan? Yeah. West Virginia? Uh, well, Huntington, West Virginia, but I was born in North Carolina. But I live most of my life in Huntington, West Virginia. Because you've got an accent that's sort of nondescript. That's just best that way. Where are you from, Andy? Rhode Island. Rhode Island? We'll, we'll complete this survey. Barbara, where are Pittsburgh. you from? Pittsburgh. Yeah. Go downtown in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, PA. Yeah, go out of the house and go downtown. That's and how we talk in Pittsburgh. And the town rust, right. I know. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I used to say oh, that to my friends in Youngstown. I got a very bad reputation. Oh, it's a gorgeous city, Pittsburgh. It, it really is now. Okay, enough geography, folks. We're going to start the game with uh, Barbara oh. and Tony in a second. Here we go with the subjects. Put it in writing. Pomp and circumstance. Ladies prefer bonds. Uh, the eleventh hour. Big spenders and lend me your ears. The seventh situation. Pretty much you're acquainted with. What would you like? Huh. What do you think? Oh, well, just just throwing a dart at big spenders. We okay. haven't even big thought spenders. About okay. Let's see if they Why are. Why not? These are things uh, you pay extra for. Things you pay extra for. Okay. And you have thirty seconds. If you uh, make a mistake along the way or give a word that gives the essence of the answer, that's what happens. Okay. Things you pay extra for. Ready? Go. Okay. Uh, in a hotel, not a room, but a... Suite. Uh, the dog has a... A dog house, a, a special a, a leash, a collar, uh, uh, He's well-born. A uh, pedigree. Uh, on the menu, it's not a the dinner. Uh, I'm going to call this person in because I don't know what to do with my room. Uh, interior decorator. Uh, I, I put a stamp on it and... First the, class, special delivery. Uh, Airmail. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this Sleeve. material. Um, uh, silk, cotton, a... Uh, uh, it's not just a doctor, he... Okay, yeah. six out of seven, good score. Very good, thank you. Soupy, what's your pleasure? Uh, we, we've, Andy and I decided on pomp and circumstance. All right. Please describe these things associated with a celebration. Things associated with a celebration. Ready, go. Okay, uh, the bubbly. Champagne. Okay. Uh, Harry James plays the... Um, clarinet? No. Uh, Give me another. Trumpet? It, good. Uh, okay. Uh, you deliver a... Letter. Uh, no, Mail. Invitation. You get up and you deliver... You, Speech. Yeah, Lecture. Yeah, okay. And uh, when you get the big treatment, they lay out the... Red carpet. That's right. And uh, the uh, newspaper, the members Strike. of the... Union. Of the, the guys that report. They're members oh, of the... Journalism. Uh, yeah, well, the members of the Lead what? Guild. You, what? Your pants. You don't clean them, you what? Oh. Go on to another one. Uh, you get a standing... Ovation. Okay. All right. Press. Members of the press. God. Oh, sorry. 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 That was destined to be a tie there, except for press. That just threw you for a second. Six to five the score, Tony. Uh, I think we'll take Lend Me Your Ears, please. Uh, lend Me Your Ears is the choice. Uh, please describe for your partner these things associated with an ear. Oh, goodness. Things associated right. with an ear. I thought it was going to be song titles. Oh. Uh, <laughs> stand by. Ready? Go. This part right here. The low. Good. Uh, uh, an ass, a, an animal. An ass is a, uh, a mule or... A, a horse. No. Um, um, an ass is a, a... Donkey. A mule. There you are, donkey, right. Uh, I have an ear. It hurts Ache. bad, okay? Uh, he was... He played Rhett Butler in the movie. Uh, 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 Clark Gable. Right. Um, oh, Samantha could do this on, on Bewitched. Uh, could, twitch. No. Her ears. Um, it, uh, it uh, just, wiggle ears. There you are. Uh, if you have a hole through it, it uh, is... It pierced. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm, I must confess, I'm not an expert in this. Didn't she wiggle her nose? Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do I know? <laughs> Wasn't that the bit she wiggled her nose? Yes, yeah. I Well, you know while, me but... in television. <laughs> <laughs> I All right, 12 to 5. Andy? Put it in writing. Okay, put it in writing. Please describe for Soupy uh, these things that write. 
These are things that write. Ready? Go. Okay, a bl on a blackboard, a white chalk. Card. Okay, um, this is another name for a secretary. She takes um. Uh, she shorthand. Takes notes. Dick, no, uh, the name of the person who does stenographer. it. Stenographer. Right. Okay. Um, he writes um the odd couple. He wrote um chapters. Um, oh, chapters Neil Simon. Sweet. Right. Okay. A newspaper. Someone writes every day. He's a um, reporter. No, no, no. Someone writes Editor. every day Editor. in a long piece oh, of. Oh, columnist. Right. Okay. Okay. He wrote the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Star Franklin. Star John Hancock. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, forget it. Skip it. John Adams. Okay. This is someone who writes lines, couplets, like shake, like um. Bar uh, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Poems. Oh, you're on the right track. Who's the third president? Jefferson. Jefferson. Folks, uh, you're falling behind a bit there, and that means you'll have the choice, Andy and Soupy, of ladies prefer bonds and the 11th hour. Oh, maybe things you tie. Ladies prefer bonds. All right, you want to give? All right. But you know, there used oh. to be a time when, when it first started a few years ago, you could sort of tell what was behind, you oh, know, the category. Long, you can't tell nothing anymore. We have you know? long gone nothing. past that. I know that, I know. Do you okay. have any idea okay. at all what this might I know be? Things you tie? Things you tie? I hope. It's a play on gentlemen prefer blondes. Obviously, it's a switch on that. These, I mean, it's, it's not that far off. Things in a James Bond movie. Oh, no. You want me to get, oh, you, she already made she, a commitment. The decision has been made. She okay. Right. Things in a James Bond movie. Ready, go. Okay, he's, um, a secret agent is called, uh, what James Bond is? 007 is a, he looks, he, um... He's a spy. Right, okay, okay. From blank with love, Soviet From Union. From Russia. Right, okay. Um, something you put on a gun so it doesn't make noise. A silencer. Right, okay. This is, um, not silver, but... Gold. Finger. Yeah, right, okay. Um, he now plays James Bond. His name is, um... Uh, Roger Moore. Right, okay. Okay, this is something when it's a secret language, it's called in, you're writing in... In, in, in Not, not, um... It's, you have to break the... Code. Right, okay. And this is the kind of um, garment that Peter Falk wears in Colombo. A raincoat. Okay. Mm, close. Trench coat. Trench coat. Oh. Andy, my dear, I don't want to be the bearer of bad tidings, but I'm afraid this may be it. You have picked up, what, $950. Right. This is your attempt for 20000 and all they've got to do is come up with four answers to make it work. Tony, are you going to give a receipt? I'm going to give, yes. Describe for your partner <laughs> these 11 letter words. Oh, oh neat. <laughs> it sounds like Ethiopian war general category, you know. Uh, I'll take Ethiopian war general. No, it's, this, is not, this is not that difficult, but Barbara, you must give us the exact word. Neat. Can't, can't, uh, can't fool with it because we're asking for specific 11 letter words. Okay. Sounds tougher than it is. You need a score of 16. 16 wins, 11 letter words. Ready, go. Okay, this is when they stick little pins in you to relieve pain. Uh, it's Chinese. Uh, yes, it's uh, acupuncture. There you are. Um, if you call the operator in a hotel, you will, she will connect you through the... Switchboard. Okay. Uh, IBM is a large... Computer. Uh, no, it's a whole conglomerate of industries together. A... It's, uh, okay, uh, skip it, please. Uh, I have a vibrant... Personality. Thank you. Uh, another word for a test. The long word for test. Test examination. There you are. That's it. Okay. Woo! Uh, corporation. Corporation. We had a fat two seconds left over. Corporation. You're IBM we weren't taking our time. We were oh. being so clear. I wasn't taking my time. Oh, you were? I, I, oh. I said I, they're being very methodical about this whole thing. I'm sorry, Andy, as predicted, yeah. you take your 950 home home at fun. I did. Thank you. Let's go. Okay.